Hey guys, Brian here, aka Ragon Vapor. Today I'm going to talk about the official release of the Boss Mods Aftershock. I already did a review on the prototype version, and I'll be posting the link on this part of the screen and on the description of the video. Okay, so I won't go into details. I won't be disassembling the uh, the mod. Uh, I'll just do a quick recap on the, the, the specs and um, I'll be telling you uh, the changes on the official release. Okay, so when you get your uh, Aftershock by the Boss Mod, you'll be getting this... Uh, this uh, what do you call this tumbler case okay so the, the boss mod or the aftershock came with this tumbler case all right with the uh, the aftershock logo and the boss mod logo all right also came with this dog tag with the serial number on it and in my case it's uh, 063 or serial number 63 all right and um, it has the uh, the aftershock logo on it we'll get the dripper top cap and an allen tool so um, here we go this is the official release of the boss mods aftershock basically all the stainless parts are made out of 304 stainless steel except for uh, the inner uh, tank tube okay which is made out of 316 stainless steel all right so um, it's a uh, tripod okay it has a tripod feature with uh, solid uh, or welded negative poles, okay, squared negative poles, and uh, a round positive pole, okay, which is uh, directly in contact with the battery, okay, since uh, the top cap serves as the atomizer or the atomizer's deck, okay. It has a brass outer sleeve with the uh, the aftershock logo, and um, it has a reverse uh, locking mechanism, okay and a very soft firing button okay you'll find a serial at the bottom of the uh, the mod or on the firing button okay and um, it has uh, compared to uh, the prototype which has copper pins this has silver plated copper pins already okay it has a battery vent hole on the outer sleeve and on the inner tube so all you have to do is align it when you uh, tighten the uh, or put in the battery or screw in the top cap or the the, 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 the firing mechanism all right um, it has dual air hole function okay and it's uh, it has an airflow control all right so what else um, the uh, mod is about 22 millimeters in diameter and um, the glass is made out of pyrex okay um, what else um, basically um, compared to the uh, the prototype version, well, one 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 change is the uh, the pins. So the second one is the uh, the holes at the bottom of the uh, tank. On the prototype, you'll find two wick holes or uh, what juice holes for the juice to enter the build or go to the build. Okay, but on the uh, on the uh, what do you call this? On the official release, you'll be having only one hole, okay? And take note that you don't have to use or run a wick from the tank to your builds, okay? So the uh, the builds will, will, will basically be gravity fed, okay? So I'll be showing you how to do it after I build some coils on it. And um, what else? It has a juice flow control like the uh, prototype and um, it uses an 18650 battery okay only an 18650 battery all right so um, what else it has an allen screw by the way so there you go so what else did i miss um basically that's about it if you want to see a full or a detailed review on the aftershock again um check out the uh, prototype review okay so if you want to see the uh, the parts for each and every part of the mod, all right. So um, basically, um, this is the official release. A very nice piece, very nice mod. Okay. So um, I'll be building some coils on this uh, this this baby, and I'll be back in a jiffy. So hang on tight. All right. So I'm back from uh, building my coils. Um, I did a dual microcoil cotton build on the aftershock. This is on dripper mode. Okay, so let's take a couple of hits.
I forgot to mention that on the on the next release or the, the new release or the next release of the boss mods aftershock um there will be a uh, an option for a single air hole already okay so currently it's at dual air hole no option for single air hole but on the next release you'll be having an option for a single uh, single air hole all right so let's uh, try the tank mode as you can see um there is no wick running from the inside of the tank okay this is wickless so as you can see the, the juice is not gripping and uh, the juice remains vacuum inside the tank so the big question is how will you make your juice uh, go down your build okay so it's pretty easy all you have to do is uh, cover the air hole and blow about blow for a second or two okay until you see a bubble come out of the uh, the hole at the bottom of the tank all right so it's like this there one okay that means the juice is going down already all right so let's take a few uh, a few uh, drags before I uh, end this review So again, whenever you need to uh, wet your coils, all you have to do is uh, blow for a second or two so that the juice will go down your belt. Okay, cover the air hole and blow for a second or two. Alright, so this has been my review for uh, the official release of the Boss Mods Aftershock. For pricing and for further inquiries, all you have to do is visit the Facebook page and Facebook group, which I'll be posting in the description of the video. And if you want to see the detailed review or if you want to see the, the if you want to see each and every part of the Aftershock, I'll be posting the uh, the prototype review on the description of the video. All right, so this has been Aragon Vapor. To all vapors out there, please do vape responsibly. Don't vapor you can't smoke and vape on.